Hello, everyone. My name is Wiley Brazier V, and welcome to A Parent's Guide to Google Classroom. Google Classroom is your child's digital link to learning. It's a learning management system that allows your child's teacher to share assignments, homework, newsletters, and so much more. It's actually the one-stop shop where your child will also be able to complete and turn in their work. In order to get started, your child was provided a secure login and a password that is unique to only them. If you didn't receive this information, you need to reach out to your child's teacher or the school. We'll begin by clicking on the Google Chrome icon on your computer. Google Chrome is a web browser that is specifically created to navigate the web and to interact well with Google Classroom. We'll then go to google.com and sign in in the upper right hand corner using the little blue rectangle with the words sign in. From there, you'll take your child's Google email address or their username and you'll type it into the window. Once you click next, you'll be prompted to type in your child's password. Please ensure that it is correct because it is case sensitive. Once you do that, you'll click next and then you'll see that you are signed into your child's G Suite for Education account. You'll know that you're signed in because you'll see either some letter of their name in the circle or a picture that they've selected. And if you click on it, it will display their name and their Google username. We have this nine squares. Its official name is called the App Launcher, but we also affectionately call it the Waffle because it kind of looks like a Belgian waffle. So once you click on the waffle, you'll then show a few different icons to represent the various Google apps. Let's take a look at some of the other G Suite for Education products. You may be familiar with some of these because Google has a variety of products that are available both for personal use, business use, but in this specific case, we are referencing the education use. We will start by with Google Chrome, which I've stated is a web browser. Google Docs is an online word processing software that is very similar to Microsoft Word. We then have Google Drive, which is your online cloud storage for your child's work and be able to store any type of file there online, whether it's a Word document, a picture, a video, a presentation, all of this can be stored in Google Drive. And because your child now has a G Suite for Education account, they have unlimited storage in their Google Drive. Whereas with your personal Gmail, you have 15 gigabytes of storage. Next up, we have Google Slides. Google Slides is a presentation software that's online that is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. Google Sheets is an online spreadsheet software that is similar to Excel. Google Forms is where your child's teacher can be able to provide either quizzes or you may fill out a form in order to provide some survey feedback for your school or your child's teacher. Google Calendar is a date software that is online that your child can keep up with everything that's happening in Google Classroom and at their school to help organize themselves and plan their life. Depending on the age group, your child may or may not have access to Gmail, which is just an email service provided by Google. We'll skip over photos, but it's an online storage place for photos. We know about Google Maps, which is a navigation system. 
I'll jump over here to Classroom because it is our learning management system. Google Meet and Hangouts are both video conferencing software that your child's teacher will use in order to be able to provide some live or synchronous instruction for your child to help them in real time. I'm going to also talk about Google Sites because it is a place that your teacher can create an, a website to be able to provide information and value for your child and you as a parent. But it's also a place that students can create an online portfolio so that they can display their work properly. We're going to skip over these three icons and go directly to YouTube. Now, you may be familiar with your child from watching different games on YouTube or other videos on YouTube, but your child's teacher may also provide various YouTube videos that will support the learning that's happening in the Google Classroom and provide them as either an intervention or extended lessons for your child. To get to our Google Classroom, we'll use that app launcher and we'll then select the Google Classroom icon from the icons that are available. If you don't see it there immediately, you can also scroll down to the bottom of that specific window and it will be at the bottom of that window. Once you arrive at your Google Classroom homepage, you'll be able to see your child, a list of all your child's classes. You'll select the class that you want to view by clicking on the name of that specific class. Once you arrive on the left side where we have the number one here, we have these three lines that I'll affectionately call the pancakes because we have the waffle here. So we have to stay consistent with breakfast, right? So here are our pancakes. In order to, once you click on the pancakes, you will be able to see all of your child's other classrooms as well. This number two is the name of the classroom that you are viewing currently. And there are three tabs at the top. This first one that we'll discuss is stream stream is where all of your class announcements will appear on the left side here under number eight regarding where it says upcoming this is where your child's upcoming work that is due will appear so it gives a quick summary so you can see what is due for your child in the classroom The second tab that we have there is called classwork. And this is one of the most useful tabs that we have in Google Classroom for, for your student, for your child as a student, and for you as a parent. Under Google Classwork in Classroom, what we will see is all of the, all of the assignments and announcements that have been made for your child to interact with the content. So here we can see that there are benchmark tests that are coming and then also daily lesson files. One great thing about all of the whole Google suite of apps is that they are easily accessible anywhere that you are connected to the internet. It is available on any mobile device, whether it's an Android, iPhone, tablet, laptop, Chromebook, or a desktop, you can easily access all of these different uh, apps and all of the different tools via the web. In order to access these on a tablet or a mobile device like your smartphone, you would have to go to the appropriate store in order to download the app. So for, a, for an iPhone, you would go to the App Store. And then for the Android users, you would go to the Google Play Store in order to download those. And we'll 
I have some links to those apps in the description of this video. If you have questions regarding G Suite for Education or going Google, Google Classroom, please reach out to your child's teacher or connect with and contact your child's school for more information. I'd like to send a huge shout out to Miss Tanya Bratton, a fellow Louisiana educator who created this slide deck for a parent's guide to Google Classroom, which has now been shared all around the world and translated into multiple languages. Thank you, Miss Bratton.